Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit haul. Yes, today's video is going to be a very fun video. We are going to talk ab ow, <laughs> about everything I bought in the Alta 10x points event. Here's the game plan for today's video. First of all, we're filming and where I usually try stuff on. We're just going to kind of see how this goes today. Maybe it'll be easier for me to show you the products. We'll just try it out. You all let me know if you like this. There will also be timestamps and links in the description box below because what I really want to make sure I do in today's video is not just talk about what I got. That'll be kind of more of a you tell me if you want more reviews type of situation anyway. What I really want this video to be is an explanation of why the 10x points event is awesome. Because I know that it can seem really confusing to say I spent full price on all of these products and here's why I'm so happy about it. But I've done the math enough to know the dangers of our second guessing. <clears throat> I've done the math on how all of this works and I'll also talk about my plan for all of these points. So let's chat points, money spent, let's chat about the math. So in total, I did place more than one order. In total, I spent $285 before tax. With tax, that came to $306. Must be very nice to live in places like Oregon. Uh, then I received 9% cash back through Rakuten, which was amazing. Again, if you're not signed up with Rakuten, I'll have my referral link below, which gets both of us a bonus. Absolutely amazing. The cash back was 9%, so I earned back $25.73, which in my mind gets rid of some of the pain of thinking about how much the taxes themselves cost. Then I earned a total of 3,111 points. And that's because not everything I bought was just a flat 10x. Some of the items were actually 12x points. And I'm, of course, a diamond level at Alta because I buy way too much. So I got an additional 0.5%. So it worked out to that amount of points. Plus I used my credit card, which means I got an additional 285 points back through that. I have mixed feelings on the Alta credit card situation because of everything that happened a couple of months ago. So my new system is I still like getting those points. I just now immediately, and I mean immediately pay the card off. We're talking, it's been three days since I placed my order paid off. So we're now at a total of 3,396 points. Now there are two points levels that I personally pay attention to, but for the purpose of calculating, I'm only gonna look at the 2,000 points level, which is worth $125. So when I run my mathematical calculation, that means that translating that 3,396 points into money in my sort of little bank of Alta, I have $212 that I received back in points from this order, which ultimately means I spent 280 after cash back minus the 212 in points in the future, this is sort of a $68 order. I also wanna make sure I talk about redeeming those points. Most people will tell you that the best level to spend at is 2,000 points at a time, and that's because it is worth $125. That's how we did our calculation. However, counter argument, I also believe the 1,000 points level can be worth it. 1,000 points is only worth $50. So again, a lot of people will say, well, if you spend at that level, you're losing $25. But what I've noticed is Alta never sends me 20% off coupons anymore. They do send me $10 off coupons from time to time. So what I'll do is use one of those $10 off coupons on a $60 order. Now I've brought it down to 50 and it's actually incredibly close to that 2,000 points level. So my rule is I will spend at the 1,000 points level, but it has to feel like I'm getting at least $62.50 worth of products. And as far as how I decide if I'm going to use points or spend actual money, if there is a multiplier going on, I will spend money because you cannot earn points when you are spending points. However, if there is no multiplier, if we are talking about something like app exclusives where I won't get back any kind of money through Rakuten, that's also a really good time to spend points. Basically, my strategy is if I can get more points, I will. If I cannot get more points, I will spend points. 
if my cart is either $62.50 worth of products or $125. But do you want me to go ahead and show you everything that I bought for this $68 after points cash back? I've got skincare, makeup, and hair care. So let's just go ahead and start with skincare. I'm gonna make this section probably the fastest. I am extremely proud of myself for this one. The CeraVe Acne Foam Cream Cleanser is, it's a must have. It's my uh, second most effective acne fighting product of all time. Second only to Adaplin. It's so funny. It's not that I'm even, you know, a, a really big CeraVe person. Honestly, I like brands like Glow Recipe. I like fun packaging. I like fun scents when I can use them, but this works so well for me. I was so strategic with this this year that I finished my last bottle of this or last tube of this two days after my replacements from the 10X Point sale arrived. I bought two of these. I do wish that they would package these better. It always arrives like this. Always, all, always. They just, they don't seal the boxes. But whatever, it's amazing. It helps me so much to have so many less breakouts. Uh, and then I also bought a product that was extremely recommended, Ex extremely recommended. After I had posted my Beekman video, so many people said, ah, you have to try the milkshake. So this is the Beekman 1802 milkshake, hyaluronic acid and squalane facial toner. It is actually a really lovely product. It's one of these biphase products, you shake it up. And we can spray this on camera because it's a, a very light mist. Mm, lovely. The ingredients are amazing on this. It is fragrance free, has some postbiotic ingredients, some mugwort, some honey, sea buckthorn, wonderful ingredients list. And it's a, again, really fine mist, which is so appealing to me. It can be used as a toner or over makeup. Yeah, I see why you all love this. And that's the thing about Beekman 1802. I find this brand, for me personally, to be really hit or miss but this one is a hit. And then I also use this time to buy a bunch of brand new skincare releases. I love to try new skincare, but I hate to buy it because you know you can never get a discount on brand new releases, right? So I bought from, I think I just bought from my favorite brands. I bought the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Serum, the Peach Slices Redness Relief Calming Cream. I think a lot of people bought from Peach Slices in this 10X Points Day. I also bought the Tula Acne All-Star 3-in-1 Acne Cleanser, Mask, and Spot Treatment. This is really nice. I'll talk more about these products in What's New in Skincare. And then from Kopari, the Lychee Clean Vitamin C Foaming Face Cleanser. This is one of those types of cleansers where it dispenses foam like this. It's so funny because I don't like the type of cleansers where as you massage it, it gets foamy but I do like the type that start out foamy and then get kind of more, how to describe this? Maybe that turns more into a, a cream cleanser. That might be what I'm trying to describe. I'm very particular with my cleansers. I really am, but I, I do, I love this type. I don't know if anyone really cares too much about this, but I did also buy some Ulta hand soap. The Ulta brand is pretty much always 10X points. In the 10X points event, should we do hair care or should we do makeup next? I think let's do hair care. It might be kind of interesting for some of you, at least what I bought. I feel like it's the world's most predictable thing for me. So I did buy two dry shampoos in this event. They, and both of them are kind of the same basic idea too. I bought the new Batiste Dry Shampoo Overnight Deep Cleanse. And I also bought the Living Proof Scalp Saving Trio, which was worth $77. I bought this mainly for the Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo, which I actually do have a video on, but uh, it was worth it for me to buy this set because the Triple Detox Shampoo is also a really nice product and the cost of these two alone is more than the cost of this kit, $39. But it also came with the Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment, which I feel like I'll find somebody who will love this. I've seen really, really good reviews on this, but I don't have a, a dry scalp. I have the opposite of a dry scalp. But let me tell you really quickly about these. This is one of my absolute favorite dry shampoos. I don't know how it seems to make your hair stay more clean for days. This one I was really hoping would be an identical dupe for it. 
It's really not. It does leave a lot more of a white cast. Nonetheless, because my hair is so oily, I find that even if I go to bed with my hair having just a ton of whiteness to this to my my parts right here, my roots, it's all gone by the morning because I've oiled myself through the night like some kind of a robot. Has that been my problem all along? Does my body think I'm a robot? So I'd still have to say I do prefer the Living Proof, but it's so expensive. It's a $30 dry shampoo. Okay, let's talk about this next. This is the Kitsch Satin Heatless Curling Set. And this is the only item from this entire haul that I'm actually kind of contemplating returning. I believe fully that this can work for people, but I, I should have thought about this a little harder because I don't think it's ideal for my hair type. So this is satin, it is very, very soft, but unfortunately so is my hair, and I think it's not a good combo. I think if your hair naturally has texture to it, this is probably perfect. But the other thing that I really should have thought about is that my hair doesn't hold a curl. It does kind of hold a wave, which you see in my hair today, because what I did for my hair last night is I did not use this. I braided my hair into a microfiber cloth, which works for me. And it makes sense that that works for me considering the way my hair feels and what it holds. Whereas this, it's not to say it doesn't work. It's just that it doesn't work long enough. I'll see the curls the second I take my hair out of this but I've got maybe 15 minutes of them lasting and then they're just gone. So yeah, sadly, kind of my only miss in this whole haul, and I should have I should have thought about it more. Um, one more thing I want you to know is if you buy this, you will need to have one of those types of clips because otherwise it is nearly impossible to hold it in place and wrap your hair around it. You need three arms to do that, or a clip. I also threw some nail stickers into my order. I'm really not sure why I did that, but I guess it's because I love Halloween and I got really excited when I saw this. Oh, I'm so gonna put glow-in-the-dark Halloween stickers all over my nails, you betcha. The last two items are my only makeup items. I really didn't buy much makeup in this, but I did buy two products that were both 12x points. So first of all, the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. I bought the shade Wild Rose. I hate that I am this level of predictable. It is such a beautiful, oh, it's a beautiful eyeshadow. But I also own Bobbi Brown's Golden Pink. And guess what, right now I have these on my eyelids. Do they look any different or did I buy the same eyeshadow color? This is such a human nature thing. We, we know what we like, we gravitate towards it, and it's just so hard not to buy the same thing a ton of different times. Anyway, I'm trying to make the best of it by comparing them. We'll see if I can actually figure out what the difference is between these. I think, I think, at least what I've noticed so far is I think the Bobbi Brown might be just a bit more creamy. These are so nice though, I just cannot get over that it's $32. It's $32 for this. It's painfully expensive. And then the very last item is the Kiss Falscara set, which I already told you about in last week's video. I've actually applied these twice now. The first time I didn't use the overnighter, and that actually still lasted me for about, I think it was about three days. This time, we'll see how long it lasts with the overnighter. I will tell you if you are interested in this, the kit is worth it. This is $24.99, and you can use the $3.50 off coupon with it. The overnighter costs $11. This, the bond and seal, which you have to have, is $10, and then the lashes are eight, so it's already worth it. There's a, a video on the KISS website of someone showing how to apply this, and she's just like, oh, you just grab one of these and you just apply like this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh, that is just not how it goes for me at all. It is much more of a struggle session. Maybe you just have to be that much more artistic, but I kid you not, me, the process of me getting these on looks more like... I did figure out to move my eyeball away from wherever I'm working. Do any of you wear contacts? So, true story, years and years ago, when I first got contact lenses, I was in fifth grade maybe, I could not get them in my eyes because I'm one of those people who is really creeped out by eye stuff. So the, the assistant, the ophthalmologist assistant said to me, she said, well, I know this trick that some people use to get contacts in where they'll kind of move their eyeball away. So you look this way, put the contact in here. 
and then slide your eyeball underneath it. I have done that my whole life. It is the only way I can apply contacts. None of this putting it directly over the eye. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. And it turns out that trick is very helpful with these lashes. So you are putting them under your eyes, which means your eyeball, if your eyeball is at all touched by them, it's gonna freak out. This has been really helpful for me, so I'll just, you know, apply here, and apply right over here. You see what I'm saying? So that's been really helpful. The thing I was most scared of was these falling out. I was worried they were just gonna fall into my eyes. So the way these work is they actually attach to kind of the entirety of your lash all along here to the lash itself, not to your skin. So what'll happen is if the glue loosens maybe up here, it'll still be on down here or vice versa. So you can feel that it's starting to fall off, but it's not going to just, you know, magically disconnect all on all portions of that lash simultaneously, right? Does that make sense? It's just so nice to wake up in the morning and have your lashes look like this. I'm not wearing any mascara, I'm not wearing any eyeliner. They just look like I have put on falsies for the day but I just rolled out of bed. It's amazing. And that's it. That's everything for my Ulta 10X Points haul, which again, you see, it's painful as a $280 haul. But as a $68 haul, it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. That is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments section below what you all picked up in the 10X Points event and how it's been going for you. We've had a, a couple weeks to try it out now. Are you happy with your orders? If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I hope you all have a wonderful upcoming week and I will see you all next time.